What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of Reality Check and today we're putting the Legion Y530 through its paces with some modern current 2018 games. So we're going to try out Fortnite, we're going to try out Battlefield 5, we're going to try out the latest Call of Duty and we're going to see what it's going to take to get that at a pleasant 60 frames per second gaming experience. Let's jump right into it. First game on the list is Fortnite. Now that is not the most graphically intensive game but it's a really popular one, a lot of people play it so I wanted to see how the Legion Y530 would do on high settings, medium to high to ultra, we'll see. So before we jump into a game, I just wanna run through the settings here because I've kind of got it optimized to play at 60 frames per second and still look really, really crisp, crisp and clear. So most importantly for me are the view distance and the textures. I want the actual textures themselves to look as good as possible and I wanna be able to see as far as I possibly can. So those are both on epic. And then to kind of counterbalance that, everything else is on high and I've managed to get 60 frames per second. So that's really, really cool. But without further ado, let's play. Should I try and do some Fortnite dances in the meantime? I'm not that good at it yet. Dude, I, oh God, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I forgot they did that. I forgot that they sued everyone. <laughs> well, everyone sued them. I am not the best at Fortnite. That is just the gods to honest truth. I've played a fair amount of games, but that learning curve is just so steep. So what I'm gonna try and get across here is just how smooth it is. So I'm gonna go right into the thick of it and probably end up getting killed. That's just how it's gonna be, but you'll see it's a solid 60 frames a second. Okay, and we're in, and we're playing, and everyone is just mooting each other with the... Uh... Oh, oh goodness. Do you see my skills, guys? Look how well I can hit things with a, a hoe. Just, just hoeing away. Why did I jump up so high? I didn't press spacebar. Okay. Straight off the bus, not off the bat, we've got 60 frames when we're flying around over the whole map. So there's a lot of information on the screen there and it's just dropped to 50. Let's jump, bro. Oh, oh, fight to the death, fight to the death. Oh shit, I gotta run. Oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, with the hoe. Please don't mess with me, people, please. Beware. Anyway, regardless, so guys, uh, just a, an FYI disclaimer, um, we don't have the best internet connection in the world. We are still getting a frame per second reading in the top corner, which is sitting at a solid and constant 60, but you might see a little bit of lag or a little bit of tearing or whatever, but that's got more to do with our internet connection than with the actual laptop itself. Look, 60 frames, even when I go crazy, it's all good. And the texture quality is on Epic, so it looks, from a texture perspective, as good as the game possibly can and the view distance is as far as it can possibly be. So 60 frames a second, that's dank, bro. Ha, huh, I have no ammo. I didn't even see. And it's so clear that yeah, I have no ammo. But... So I'm running into another fight with nothing but my hoe. Can I get a gun, please? It's a pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, oh, is it not a hoe? Like behind every great hoe is a pickaxe. Oh, I did. He had a shotgun. Anyway, so 60 frames a second, I was running around the map. It looked pretty good. I'm really happy with it. I, just, I didn't think it was going to struggle to handle a game like Fortnite at 60 FPS. But let's jump into a different game right now. Next game on the list is Battlefield 5. So you know this game is going to push the Legion Y530 to its limits. We're running an i7-1050 combination. And whilst it will definitely play it, I had to balance out quite a bit of settings and use a couple of hacks in order to get it running at a smooth 60 frames per second and still look as nice as I wanted to. So let's jump right into the settings. In the basic things, I've just got it all pretty standard. 60 hertz, 1080p. Uh, all these extras like lens distortion and chromatic aberration are on. And it's very importantly here, the the field of views at 55. So I know, I know some people like to set it a little bit higher, around 80, but we left it there in order to keep the performance running where it's at. Jumping into advanced, it's a combination of medium and high settings. So again, things like texture, things like meshes and lighting, all the main elements and the main components that make your game look good, I've got set to high, not ultra because a 1050 can't do that. And then other secondary things like effects quality, post-processing -proce quality are all set to medium and ambient occlusion, ambient occlusion? Does anyone know how to pronounce that? I've got that set to off because that actually gave me quite a serious increase in frames per second performance. Most importantly here, the little hack, it's how I got everything to run on a combination of high and medium is that I ever so slightly bumped down the resolution scale to 95% and that helped me achieve a fairly consistent 60 frames per second. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna play single player for now because again, disclaimer, internet is terrible. I was totally wearing these in the last segment for Fortnite as well. Hold the loading. Okay, skip cinematic. Okay, this is really gonna test it though because there's gonna be a ton of explosions. Okay, so 
We rounded those settings, already we're sitting on about 55 frames. So it's not ideally set at six. You can adjust it slightly, maybe bring the textures down or the shadows down a little bit, turn, on your anti, uh, turn off some of your anti-aliasing. Um, but 55 frames is good for me, sitting at 55 and 60. And it looks pretty dank, dude. It looks pretty awesome. Someone's gonna die right about now in that building. Into the smoke, we got about 50, 55, do you see? Oh goodness, yo, wrecked. But yeah, okay, so now we're getting a bit, roughly 40 frames, 40, there's a lot of explosions, a lot of, hap lot of stuff happening. It's mostly just the smoke that really does, does a thing to it. Yeah, see, that's a bit better. Now we're at like 58, 59, 60, that's a lot better, dude. Yeah, no, that's good. And it still looks really good. Like this, this absolutely playable. Dead. Yo, this tank is, as my good friend Gareth would say, OP, bro, OP. See, now, now we're staying nice and steadily above 50. So I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Ooh. Yes, sis. Yeah, dude, so we haven't dropped below 50 yet. So definitely the effects make a big difference. Oh, that's my guy, Orkies. Let's just destroy a building for fun. Yeah, yeah. And that's basically it, guys, a solid, Solid 55 to 60 frames per second. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's jump into the next game. Last game on the list is Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or Call of Duty Black Ops I, 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 as some people like to call it. Anyways, this is also a 2018 game, so it should be able to put the Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 30 through its paces as well. And once again, I've kind of optimized my settings to a certain configuration, but uh, let's just go into the game real quick. currently because uh, there's basically no local servers. I mean, not basically, there are no local servers in South Africa for this game. And then also again, we've got a really, really terrible internet connection. Skip. Thank you. Okay, so the game has started now. Let's jump into some settings. So I can just kind of show you how I've optimized it and configured it. I go for this, this kind of approach where I put my, my textures and my lighting effects as high as the graphics card will allow and then counterbalance that with low settings on every other side. We're at 60 frames. Guys, uh, consider that we are also using Windows Game Capture, so that should be taking a little bit of a hit of performance on this. Now the point to check is whether or not with a whole ton of zombies, it's still gonna be able to run 60. It's definitely gonna experience some dips without a doubt, but that's still pretty impressive, man. Come on, zombies. Where are you at? This, this guy sounds like Antonio Banderas. Headshot, we haven't dipped below 60 yet, so it's doing pretty well. Oh, the anxiety isn't as high when you're playing with bots instead of real people, because sometimes real people suck and you have to carry them. And uh, that just makes the game way more fun, I think. Uh... Ooh. Just got a kaboom. I'm just trying to get it to a more graphically intensive bit with some more zombies, a little bit more happening in the frame. But look how smooth that is, guys. 60 frames a second and we're balling, y'all. Okay, see, now we're dropping a little bit because things are getting a bit intense here. Uh, it's a lot of zombies, a lot of lights, a lot of firing, and we're sitting at about 50. These zombies, they got nothing on me, son. So that's it for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I, 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 I. I still can't get over that. Honestly, I think it performed admirably in between 50 and 60 frames when there's so much happening on the screen, a lot of scripts firing, a lot of textures and light sources to deal with and occasionally would drop below 50 was very rare, but pretty much 50 to 60 frames per second consistently. That is decent, that's really good. Anyways guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this installment of Reality Check. Don't forget that the Lenovo Legion Y530 is available for purchase on EveTech's website, evetech.co.za, and it's an awesome laptop. It's got a two terabyte HDD built in with all of their models, and there's a whole host of different configurations. Don't forget to go check it out. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe as well, and I'll catch you guys next time for another installment of Reality Check. Peace. Back to some games, bro.